Hello, welcome to construction scheduling. Um, in this lecture, we are going to use Excel uh, spreadsheet to create a bar graph. One of the first thing you want to do, make sure you have your data available. Open up your Excel sheet and have your data available, or you can copy this data I have here. You can pause the video and copy the data. And once you have that, we can go ahead step by step, um, create the bar. Okay, and you look at this uh, data we have. The data, the first column we have is a task, which is the activity from mobilization, clearing and grabbing, and all the way to setting up a rebar in a wall. Then you have the start date, the date for each activity, and then the end date for each activity, then the duration, which is basically the, uh, it's the end date minus the start date. Okay, so go ahead, click on start date, right like that, and then hold, uh, push down on your mouse and hold it and, and pull all the way down to the bottom. And from there, you go ahead, go up top right here, click insert. Okay, once you click insert, come back halfway through, you can see the uh, bar graph right there. And click the uh, drop down uh, uh, button right here and a bar graph and you see a bunch of graphs showing up you want to go down to the one that says 2d a sideway one and go to the middle one and once you hover your mouse over it it can says uh, stacked bar click on that and that's what we have right here let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see it better there move it out of the way okay now we have that from here just go on this graph where my mouse is this you can see it going around click on it and click the right mouse and when you click the right mouse this window opens up go down to a point when you can see it says select data see I, it's highlighted select data and you click that now and the window opens up and this window has uh, right to the left of the window where it says add right here at the further left says add click the add button and you see another uh, uh, window open. In this window, you can see this edit series. They have the series name and you have the series value. What we like to put in here is the duration. So under the series name, we're just gonna go ahead, click on duration cell itself. Then we're gonna go ahead and put our mouse uh, cursor back on series value. See where it says equal one. You kind of erase that, get rid of that. And then we're gonna go ahead put all the value under the duration days. So let's go ahead. So right now I'm at the, at the series name. I'm gonna, my cursor is right there. And then I'm gonna move my mouse over right here. Click on duration, just the title itself. There, good. Come back to the second uh, block right there where it says equal one under the series value. I wanna get rid of that. So there, and now there's nothing there. Then go ahead and put your mouse back on uh, activities I mean, and uh, yes, and uh, uh, values under the duration. Start from the first one and hold your mouse and push it all, click all the way down. I mean, uh, drag it all the way down and let go and then hit OK. OK, now that's done. We have this, we come back to this window again. As you can see in this window, there's a more button there. There's add, edit, remove, going from left to right. And you go to the second window of that, it says edit. Under that edit, you can see one, two, three, four, five underneath it. Click on that edit. There. Once you click on that, this window opens up and it says access label range. What we're going to put in here is all the activities under the task. So go ahead and put your mouse right on the first activity, which is mobilization. Click on it and hold and drag all the way down to the bottom when you hit to the rebar. Then let go. So, and uh, once you do that, click OK. All right, so now we have done that and click OK again and look at our graph now. When you look at the graph, you can see that um, there's a, uh, quite a few things we're gonna clean up. First, we'd like to get rid of the blue bar because our activity is the orange. And then you look at the activity task, they are put in, in a reverse order from mobilization is at the bottom, but it should be at top. 
and also the digits at the bottom should be at the top. We take care of that, not a problem. Go ahead, click on the uh, blue bar, okay, and you see the your uh, column been highlighted. That's fine. Now right click it, and this window opens up, and find the thing that says fill. All right, you go to the fill and uh, drop down menu, and then select no fill, no fill, and there, and now. It's gone and click away again and that's what we end up with okay the second thing we want to do see we, if we can fix this uh, reverse the order on this uh, activity task so go ahead click your mouse right and here so the you might have to click once or twice to get it there you go you have a, a line around it and then click your right mouse okay that didn't work let's do it again might have to click again once that click the right mouse didn't work okay there we go once you, you got to get to this window so you might have to do once or twice to make sure you do, click on a activity then right click the mouse then you can see this window it says format access right down at the last one the last activity says format access right here and click that okay there it is it's on the right and it shows up and you look at this window on the right, it says Format Access. Come all the way down to the bottom. You see there, it says Category in Reverse Order. Check that right here. See Category in Reverse Order? Click that there. And when you go back to the chart, we can see it fixed that. Now, let's clean up one more. This time, we want to get rid of the space between the uh, activity and our bar. How we do that? Well, the way Microsoft works, they have the date in numbers. Uh, for example, if you type in, go to a, a separate cell down here underneath your uh, uh, data, type in uh, January 1 slash 1 slash 1990. No, 1900, I'm sorry. 1900. Okay. And then right there, <coughs> click the right mouse and find format cell. And then when you format the cell, you hit General, OK, and hit OK, and that became 1. So that, the date, count as 1. All right? Let's erase that. That was just for a show. Now, <clears throat> what you want to do is go to your first, earliest start date, which is right here, 9-2-2019. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 9 slash 2 slash 2019. And then in the next column, I'm going to type in um, the latest finish date, which is the last date, which is 11 slash 5 slash 2019. And highlight both this two row like that. Then uh, click the right mouse, go to format cell, and hit general. And you see this two number right here. Okay. Now come back up to your graph right here and click on the date on top. It says 7-14-2019. Click on that and right click the mouse and hit Format Access. And you see this window open up here on the right. And the window shows uh, the boundaries of minimum and maximum. Your minimum it should be that number that we have, 43710. So type in 43710 right here. 43710. And then the next one will be the end date which we had was 43774. 43774. See if I got that. Okay. And this is it. And you can see we got rid of the space, and that's how our graph looked like. Good luck, and you have a wonderful week.